All right, let's talk about one of the most exciting parts of AWS, which is AWS Lambda. It's definitely one of my favorite uh, components. So if we look at what is a Lambda, I think we've covered this in some other lessons, but just let's talk about it one more time. If you look at a def func like this, and you pass in, let's say, an X and a Y, it will you know, do some kind of logic here. Here's our logic, and then it will uh, return something. So this is really the, you know, some kind of a, uh, a really simple type of Lambda function. So why is this so helpful? If you take this, it's essentially a unit of work. So we have here a unit of work, uh, and this unit of work can go through and populate all over a big data pipeline. So let's say you have some S3 data. Well, as soon as somebody puts the data into S3, that could trigger an event. And then once this event is triggered, then what would happen is this Lambda is now actually fired. And so you could have thousands and thousands of these Lambdas actually fired. And then when it's done, it could put something into, let's say, SNS, right? And so it could send a, a small message, and then you could have another Lambda that could go through here, and it could actually get fired. That Lambda could go through and it could kick off, let's say, an EMR job. Uh, and so once that EMR job is done, then it could go through and it could put it into, let's say, Redshift, an aggregated uh, result. So really the, the takeaway here is that a Lambda is almost like this, um, kind of the language of uh, uh, high, highly scalable serverless processing, and you can fit Lambdas all over the AWS ecosystem and just have the idea of something comes in, you do a processing, and then you return back that result, and it can respond to events, it can respond to a trigger, it can respond to a message, it can fire off other services. So really, you can think of Lambda as one of the most useful building block components of a big data architecture.